Okay, hi everyone. We've done a quick minute video so he's everybody not, can not keep not in touch cool. with their rugby skills and their core strength while he's still at home. So when it's time to go back to rugby, everyone will be much better prepared. Uh, if you've got a rugby ball at home, great. Uh, under 11s use size three, under 13s use a size four, under 15s try and use a size five if you can. If you've not got a rugby ball, a football will do for now. First skill, ball handling skills. What we're looking for is to improve your dexterity, your hand strength, and your confidence handling the ball. So Reese, you can just start passing the ball to yourself. Okay, that's good. One hand, catching it. Okay, if you're confident with that, try to get your hands further apart. That's good. Right now, just start bouncing the ball off your shoulder if you can. That's good. Excellent. A couple of spins. Not too high, so what are you doing with your hands here? There you go, good. Switch hands if you can. Really pass the ball behind your back. Excellent stuff. Okay, next one, passing and receiving the ball. You need person either side of you, ideally just one person if you've not got it. Key skill here Reece, we're looking for from Reese is hands away from the body. So we don't want the ball to touch our body, he's catching it away from him. And you'll also notice feet and legs facing forward as you would be in the game. First principle of play is go forward. We want Reese to be running forward with the ball, facing forward, and then he just turn the top of his body to receive the ball. Okay, now the bad version of the technique. This is Reese turning his whole body towards and catching the ball so it touches his chest, which is a safe way to catch it, but it means it's much harder for him to better pass it on and go back to the proper way. Go like front, lovely. Okay, here Reese is going to be on the balls of his feet. He's going to be bouncing back and forward as fast as he can. Faster, please, Reese. And when I say go, he's going to explode forward as you would an attack and defence in the game. Go! And our bad. And now side to side, please. And up. Go! Okay, a bit harder to get started there. So falling back on there. This time you're going to receive the ball. And go! Yeah! Brilliant, well done. This time he's going to pass it back side to side again. Quicker. Pass. Hey. Keep doing this. So he's mastered it. Go. Yeah. Side to side. Go. Okay. Next exercise: passing from the floor. So I want you to look at Reese's body position, the position of his foot, and how he passes it out. One more time. Oh, Same from this side now. Opposite foot. What's Reese's technique? Foot point in the right direction, low down, three V goes. Good. Okay, next one to test passing accuracy. Evie's favourite teddy bear on top of the bin. We're going to challenge Reese to hit the teddy bear from where he is. Reese, any technique for doing this? Okay. Arms heading towards the Sparkle Rainbow. Watch Reese's leg as he puts his weight onto his foot as he goes into the pass. Off you go. Bad luck. That was a bit too easy for Reese. We're going to ask Reese to take a few steps back, make it harder for him if he's doing well. Right. Okay. Last one, just quick evasion skills. I'm going to pass the ball to Reese. He's going to beat oh. me in a very, very narrow channel. Okay, now core strength, plank position. You see his head's caught there. We want his head nice and neutral, just like in the scrummage position, the rocking position. Back nice and straight, hold off like that. To make it a bit more interesting, we can get Evie to come in here and just give him a little bit of a nudge from either side, just so he has to fight her off. There you go, good. Use your shoulder this time, Evie. That's good, well done. Good core strength, Reese. So, as again, just doing it off the rugby ball makes it a bit harder for Reese. And if he's looking like it's too easy for him, bring in brother or sister, and they can help try and get big brother off the ball. You need to hit him a bit harder than that, Evie. Oh, he's down already. Well done, Evie. <laughs> Reset. Next exercise, same position. We're just going to be alternating, touching the shoulders like this. 
okay, and try and get the change over as quick as you can. Do that about 20 times. So just touch alternate shoulders. Make sure your head's not going up, going too far down. Just keep alternating which shoulder you're touching. Okay, same starting position, but this time is opposite arm, opposite leg. Reaching out forward, hold it for a few seconds, and then down, and then swap over. Great for core strength, great for balance, all the things you need to play rugby. Okay, this next one's a combine exercise, it's gonna work our legs and our upper bodies. It's really important we have our feet facing forward, knees in neutral, and back straight. We're gonna do the tower of power all the way down. So bend down, pick up whatever item you've got. Up, lift, down. Keep doing that. Should better do about 10 or 12. If you can't, the item's too heavy. Any item from home will do. Next one, passing behind the back. We'll do a few shots in the front, a few shots in the back. So. Good, Harry. Well done. Good. Good. Next skill, more an advanced skill, is just being able to bounce the ball straight back into your hands. Reese, show us. Looks easy, actually very hard. Yes. Next skill, again, specific for 15s and above. We're going to watch Reese, watch how he drops the ball, look how he's kicking it, and to make it interesting, we're trying to hit Sparkle Rainbow here. Off you go, Reese. Reese, what you're trying to do with the ball as you kick it? Just drop it onto my foot, it's not like that. I'm going to go. Just drop it onto this part of your foot, it's like that. Okay, skill. Reese is going to come on, he's going to pick the ball up, off and do this in one complete movement. Off you go. Thank you. Okay, final skill. Catching a high ball. I'm going to throw the ball right up into the air, just in front of Reese. I want you to watch his forward motion, look at his body position as he's going up. Look how he tries to cradle the ball coming down. Watch what he does with his knee. Helping. That's the best one.